What's up, everyone? Happy holiday. As the year is ending, I started looking at my Instagram and started seeing everyone's resolutions and things they're going to take into 2016 and all the lessons they learned in 2015. And I thought, uh, how about I make a sitting pretty episode about the new year? So lessons for 2015. I will start off with the lesson that I learned this year, which was about relationships <laughs> and dating. I learned that while you're dating and you're getting to know somebody, especially during the courting process, um, stick to what you want and pay attention to your gut people. Uh, you know when something's not right. And I could go into it further uh, later on in another video. Another lesson, more of a spiritual lesson that I learned for 2015 is that in order to recognize your worth, you must tackle your insecurities. Especially after my breakup, I felt like men didn't want me or desire me. I know, it's ridiculous. But as a disabled woman, you kinda have that feeling. Like when you're out and about in public, you're like, well, men don't really look at me or they're not paying attention to me. I had to really tackle that insecurity and really figure out, is that true? or do I wanna play victim to something, right? Once I recognized that it wasn't true, I regained a confidence that was spiritually given that only myself and God could have given me. And I just owned it and, and I took control of it and I love it now. And now I really, really recognize my worth as a woman. And another lesson that I learned that is more so on a purpose level is to exercise all opportunities. I used to have this weird insecurity about being in front of the camera, being scared and feeling nervous in front of a camera. But as the opportunity started to present itself, I was just like, I'm not gonna not do a photo shoot because I got some weird ass fear about a camera. I'm gonna do that photo shoot, or I'm gonna talk to that person, or I'm gonna email this person back, or I'm gonna do a radio interview. If you have a goal, like an overall purpose, a goal for whatever it is you wanna do, you wanna start your own business, you have a dream of being a beautician, you have a dream of a makeup artist, or uh, being a musician, you know, exercise whatever opportunities are given because of it. Don't block a blessing. You don't want that because you don't know what this door might open up for this door and that door might open up for that door. And if it's legit, you feel good about it, you feel confident about it, do it. Now moving into 2016, the goals are definitely to apply everything that I've learned in 2015 and to have sitting pretty go viral. That is my goal, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you to all of my subscribers. Thank you to everyone who watches my videos, who shares my videos, who's part of the whole Sitting Pretty movement. I wish you guys great, great, great love, great passion, great positivity to take into the new year. Everyone be safe on New Year's Eve. Enjoy it, because I'm going to go ham on New Year's Eve. Follow me on Instagram at it's Lolo Love, I T S L O L O L O V E. Like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Lolo Sitting Pretty. Email me, talk to me personally. Tell me some topics you might want me to start talking about. Like, I love when people hit me up. So start sending me questions and comments, and I'll address them in some Sitting Pretty episodes. I, I would love to start doing that. So email me. Lolo sitting pretty at gmail.com and uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. Peace and love and happy 2016.